For this exercise, we're focusing on activating our TVA or our transverse abdominis. It's a core muscle that wraps around our torso like a corset. If you place your fingers on the two bony parts in the front of your hips and then walk your fingers just in a little bit closer to each other, this is the area that we're gonna focus on activating with our breath today. Let's start with the setup. Begin with your hands below your shoulders and knees below your hips. If you'd like a little extra support, place a pillow underneath your knees. From here, let's find a neutral spine. If you're not sure what that feels like, you can arch and round your back, playing with the extremes of what a neutral spine is not. And then as you make this movement smaller, you can kind of find that happy medium where you have the slight natural curve in your lower back and your rib cage is not flaring open. Press your hands firmly into the floor, separating your shoulder blades apart. Press your shoulders down away from your ears and tuck your chin slightly so that your head is not dropping down like this and your chin is not jutting out. Let's now connect our breath to the activation of our TVA. So begin with an inhale through our nose, a deep belly breath in, and then as we exhale, we'll focus on drawing in through our belly button and lower abdominals in toward our spine. We're not gonna use a squeeze of our glutes or any other squeezes to help us. We're just focusing on this area right here. So inhale, and now exhale. As you're drawing in, if you were to take your fingers to your lower abdominals, you should feel some tension pressing back at you. And then inhale again, release. And you'll continue like this. Something to note, as I am exhaling, you might notice that I'm tilting my pelvis just slightly, removing that natural curve in my back. That's helping me to engage this area here. Last note, something that can happen that we want to avoid is that as we're pulling up through this area, we can feel like we need to also push down and push pressure down into our pelvic floor. We want to avoid that as much as possible. So as you are inhaling, you're relaxing that pelvic floor. And then as you're exhaling, you're drawing it up just slightly. So you're not pushing down into it. So one more time, we'll inhale. And now exhale. 